I'm down by ring number seven where bull terriers have just been judged and I'm joined by Linda McGregor who is the Kennel Club breed health representative for the breed. Now Linda just tell us where did the bull terriers originate? Um, they were originally um, originated from the bulldog the English Terrier, which doesn't exist anymore, and the Dalmatian, and they were bred as a companion dog and as a gentleman's dog. And you've been involved in the breed since the early 80s. Now, what attracted you to this breed? Um, I wanted a, a big character dog, but I didn't want a, a big bodied dog. So this fulfilled that criteria and it's a very good all-round family pet for children. They've got a very distinctive uh, shape of the skull. Can yes. you talk us a little bit about that? The standard says it should be an egg shaped with an arc to the head and should be nicely filled and the mouth should be over the bottom teeth. So. We've seen a lot of dogs in the, the breed today that are white in colour. Yes. Um, what other colours do they come in? Um, they come in brindle, brindle and white, red and white, sometimes black brindle and white, and you can get like a fawn colour as well. But the colours are very popular at the moment. And you're a championship show judge yes. for this breed yes. and the miniature version, That's which correct. is actually just coming into the ring behind yes. us. Um, what are the differences between the two apart from the size? Well, the standard says they should be exactly the same, but the miniature is like 14 inches to the shoulder, ideally, or under. And um, But body shape and the standard is exactly the same. Miniatures, because they're small, they seem a bit more agile and uh, yeah, they, they're quite full on. Yeah. But uh, they're very amenable to discipline as well, like the Bull Terrier. Well, thank you very much, Linda. Okay.